Hey Keep Peeps, welcome to the release report for the month of July. We have some great things coming your way. Take a look at what we'll go over today. Improvements include the addition of Metapixel and Google ID tracking to your landing pages, an update to the mobile view of your Keep app, new custom domain validation for landing pages that help prevent entering an erroneous domain, and finally, better visibility of the contact group's view hide feature. This has been in the works for a while, and we are so excited to announce it. Get better insight into how your landing pages are performing by adding your own Google Analytics tracking ID or your Metapixel, or both. If you use paid advertising, you can now easily track how well a landing page is converting so you can make more informed decisions when spending your marketing dollars. While configuring your landing page, click the settings icon and enter one or both tracking IDs. Now you can track the performance of your landing page using your Google Analytics account or Facebook Events Manager. If you use a mobile device to access your Keep app, the interface has been updated to provide a cleaner, more up-to-date user experience. On your phone, just sign into your Keep app to get started. Note that some pages still require the full desktop experience, like the email builder and landing page builder. Also note that this is not the same thing as the Keep mobile app, which is a dedicated app you can download for both iOS and Android devices. You can find links to download those in the description below. Did you know that you can use your own custom subdomain as a landing page URL? It's a great way to retain your business branding on a landing page that we host for you. Open one of your landing pages and go to the Publish section. Click Edit URL and click Connect to Subdomain. Previously, you could enter an improperly formatted subdomain and it would still save. Now, we validate what you enter before you save and let you know if you need to make any changes. In addition, the custom subdomain is now applied to every page, including the thank you page, allowing for paid traffic and reporting through platforms like Meta and Google. Check the description below for a link to an article to get it all set up. Have a more efficient workflow and a less cluttered workspace with the ability to hide contact groups that you don't use very often. You can now more easily access the contact groups show hide button. Just go to contacts, groups, click the show hide button and toggle the group visibility buttons on or off. Here's a quick recap of the new features and updates we showed you today. We really want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what feature you're most excited about. And here's a list of other updates and improvements we've made in the last 30 days. You can view more detail about each of these features in our product release notes, which are linked in the video description. Last month, we released marketing number conversations and simple automation that automatically moves a pipeline deal from one stage to the next. We also released two updates to the email builder the ability to merge custom fields into an email, and the new file download button. A couple of you had something to say on social media about the new file download button feature. Janelle from Facebook said, the file download is much needed, thank you. And Jordan from YouTube said, most excited about being able to include a file in an email, very cool. Here are a couple of the things we have coming up next month. Coming your way are the ability to set up automations while setting up your products, in addition to the ability to accept both Apple Pay and Google Pay with Stripe on your checkout forms. Join us next month for more details. Until then, keep going, keep serving, and keep growing. Bye.